from my mama, but I got it from my mama. Give it up for my girl, Fallon Taylor. Here we go. The 2014 champion of the world on Baby Flo. Congratulations. Congratulations. World champion. What's up, Flo Mies? Okay, part two. We are here in Pendleton, Oregon. It is time for the Friday performance of the Pendleton Roundup 2019. Behind me on our Airbnb is the Friday morning parade. It's lit. <laughs> all right, it's time for us to get our horses ready. You guys pray for us. This is all so intimidating and scary. And we are on Futurity and Derby horses. What were we thinking? Let's go get their money. See you guys, let's tack our horses up. Get it, get it, get it, uh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. <laughs> so it's a get it, Valentine. Crap. <laughs> we got spotted. Get it, get it, get it. That girl on the drum is living my dream right there. That girl. Get it, girl. Uh, uh, uh. Can you guys do press by Cardi B? Okay. Okay, see, Money has her very first big time interview at a rodeo. This is Women's Pro Rodeo Today that's coming. Okay, some vocal warm ups for you. Wait. I there can't you, even do it. Yes. Oh, oh it's a it. fail. I'm gonna wait my little whistle. Let me get a drink of water. Red leather, yellow leather. The arsonist had oddly shapen feet. The arsonist had oddly shapen feet. You ready, sis? You ready? Wait, Foxy Brown jumped over a log or something. <laughs> <laughs> the brown dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the log. Ready? Yeah, what does Sandy say? She says Lisa Lockhart loves buckskins. Lisa Lockhart loves buckskin. Brittany, Posey, and Carmen Cazabon had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Did we ever even put that one in? <laughs> That's my favorite. Okay, uh, I'm gonna be the videographer now and the camera crew is around the corner, I'm sure. I'm excited. Cody is scared and she's practicing Ricky Bobby right now. She's terrified. This is so great. So is this your first time to uh, Pendleton? Okay, all right. Well, then that's your story. We, got a lot of we want to hear how you prepared. And apparently you have a quite a good mentor. Woo woo! Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she'll do. Guess it's Nobody okay. Nobody likes yeah. her. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't really have many fans. Really <laughs> just like to uh, how many million? <laughs> One. One? <laughs> a mil billion? Ma'am, can you just tell me oh what, your what your strategy is for today? That's what I thought would happen. This is what I thought would happen. Well, Did you blank out? <laughs> my strategy is always the same, and it's to turn my first barrel first, my second barrel second, third barrel third, run home. Ooh. Money. Money. Ma'am, can you also tell me about your animal? I am running a horse. Woo! It's a horse. Okay. <laughs> Woo! I didn't pack my zebra. Okay. That's really, really good news. Can you tell us about your sponsors? Nice. You're good, girl. <laughs> you don't make it awkward. I'm going to make it awkward. Cody, don't make it awkward. Whatever you do. It's going to be fun. Cody, say and spell your name. I D O C. You have been. So, all right. The first thing is, brace yourself, spell and say your name. Spell and say my name. B A D A S S. Yeah, just so we'll be able to identify you correctly. Yes. All right. Go ahead, say and spell it. C O D I H A R M A N Cody Harmon. Awesome. All right. Well, hey, we may as well pack up. This is winning. Done. Yeah. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Uh, and again, you're looking at her. Yep. Let's see. Actually, try silver side since there's no actual light to. Um, we need that. Killer. We need that. 
that pop. And go ahead and pick it, pick it up just a little bit. No, no, you, you're good. Yeah, there you go. That's good. I'm, I'm actually talking to you. She's talking to me, yep. All right, so. She's in trouble. Uh, Cody, <laughs> so are you. Actually, let's just jump ahead to uh, what's what's your uh, horse's name uh, today, and uh, tell us a little bit about your horse. Why, why you picked him instead of, or, or her instead of another one? Um, I'm riding a horse named Mojo. His registered name is Traffic Flow. He's a five-year-old gelding, and he's out of Flo's Knickknack, which is a full sister to the one and only Baby Flo. And Fallon Taylor owns him and gives me the pleasure of riding him. So, I mean, why didn't you pick a good horse? Why didn't you just pick a I know. I, will, I wanted to bring Spot, the pony in the back, but she wouldn't let me. Okay. All right. Well, great. What makes a Flo... Uh, your, what'd you call it? What'd you call the horse? Mojo. Okay, Mojo. What makes Mojo special? And, and uh, again, what, uh, what what do we expect to see today? What makes him special is that he lets me ride him and he doesn't buck me off. It's let her buck and I don't want to do any of that. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. All right, well, tell us a little bit about your game plan. What, what's in your mind uh, as far as, uh, uh, are you going to go in the dirt first or the, the, or the grass? And then... Definitely not going to start on the grass. I'm going to start on the dirt, and I'm going to treat it like any other rail race, and there's just extra grass in between. That is actually a really good uh, uh, thought on that. Uh, so there's a lot of space between the first barrel and second barrel, not much between the timer and the, and the first. So right. how do you... Uh, how do you treat your horse at, the, at that point in terms of, of commands you might give him or cues? I'm going to do what I always do and I never encourage him too much the first because I want to be able to make that turn and then I'm just going to feel it in the moment because I'm not going to ask him to go faster if he's already going to go too fast to the second so on so I'm just going to I'm going to feel it when I'm out there. Uh, here, here's just a silly question but how are you feeling right now? You pumped up or what? I'm more pumped up now that I finished this interview because I was more nervous about this than going in there. All right. Well, you have finished it and you did marvelously. Yes. All right. I'm so impressed with you, young lady. <laughs> good All luck right. today. Very good. Yeah. Both of you guys are going. Thank today. you. Okay, it's time. Just so you guys know, the saying in Pendleton is "letter buck," and that's kind of the uh, "just send it" <laughs> of Oregon. So, letter buck. Go Mojo. Go Mojo. Welcome to Pendleton. Welcome to the microphone. A professional female, by the way. It's a very fast time when you want. 17, 20 something, or 13 maybe, something like that. Alright. So, uh, no, no, not 18, 13, 18, 20 something. Anyway, it was fast. Okay, not that fast. So 15, 17, no pressure, 18, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure. Not here. Here. Let him up. So the monster program comes our national final podium. Guys out here waiting to give it a try. Great mix today. The final is going to be one of the best in the world. Ready? Ready? See the timer? Yeah. Let him up. Let him up. Let's go to a cowgirl that made it cool to wear a helmet. This is the world champion, Fallon Taylor, all the way from Collinsville, Texas. She's riding a young horse. She and her Holland partner, the next cowgirl, are both riding horses she raised. This is a good run going right here. She's a world champ. Let's help her get to tomorrow right here. Go, Fallon. Go, go, go.
there's just one left for y'all to root and cheer for right now. So get your hands warmed up and let's give it all she's got. This cowgirl has only been a member of the WPRA for a couple of months. She's new to professional rodeo. She's going to try something very out of her comfort zone right here today. This is Cody Harmon. and 17 100s you bet and i guarantee you every one of them down there they're breathing hard but they had just <laughs> the best time this is the most fun race in the world let's give them one more cheer you bet give all the girls one more cheer good job fallon good job cowgirl we'll see you tomorrow is there any preparing for the pendleton roundup i don't think there is the the least amount of things that I could do the very the very best that I could practice was to set up a mock pattern in my pasture dig up some dirt around all the three barrels and cruise through one time and that's all that I thought that my four-year-old um, was really prepared for because when you put up bucking shoots and you put up um, all of these thousands of people in here and the vibe and the energy it's no match for the back pasture but I thought he handled it incredibly well I tried to make it feel like a regular barrel race you know me and my hauling partner were talking before we got here and her strategy was let's treat it like every other barrel race but with grass in the middle and so that's what I tried to do and quickly as I went across the pin I realized it was not another barrel race with grass in the middle I was terrified and gasping for air and just praying to God Almighty that my four-year-old would stay hooked and remember that there was two more barrels and then remember that there was one more barrel and then remember that he's broken up to stop after he got through the timer lines which he didn't but we got back to the short round so we're excited 29 and 40. That puts her tent. You're going to see her tomorrow. You guys, we made the short round. Flowbot and I made the short round. Sea Money was this close to making it the short round. I can't believe we did this amazing. By the way, side note, Sea Money made a faster run than I've ever made here before on her very first try. So, Derby Horse rookie year i couldn't be more excited you guys thank you so much for all the love and support today if you loved c money's interview make sure to comment below if you're not already subscribed make sure to be subscribed ding that notification bell and as always don't forget to count your blessings drink your protein and say thank you to jesus see you tomorrow for the short round